So it looks like mum and dad are about to break up, but I think it's probably for the best. Microsoft and OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, have had this weird relationship for the last couple of years where basically Microsoft helped OpenAI to get off the ground and they have uh, an option, a right, to 49% of OpenAI's profits. However, they're not making any profits and technically it is a not-for-profit company which is seeking to switch into a for-profit company. It's all a bit of a mess, but they are connected. More interestingly than the actual ownership is the fact that OpenAI uses the Azure service, so they use Microsoft to build and to deploy ChatGPT, and then Copilot, which is a Microsoft product, is built off the back of ChatGPT. Yeah. It's complicated. Everything is kind of mixed up. But it looks like both of these guys are starting to move away from each other. So we saw a few weeks ago that um, ChatGPT, uh, OpenAI, are about to introduce a job platform, which is potentially a competitor to LinkedIn, which famously belongs to Microsoft. They are also looking and kind of edging around launching a browser, which moves into the space where Microsoft has with Edge. There's a whole bunch of different um, activities which are pushing them away. And Microsoft are now doing the same thing. So Microsoft, um, the other day, they said that they have launched their own, their first um, foundational model. It's called MAI or Microsoft AI, I, my. Uh, it's not released publicly. It's currently on Ella Marina sitting at around 24 five the 25th position so it's not bad for a first attempt but it's way behind any of the other production models um, and today we just heard that microsoft have signed a deal with anthropic the creators of claude to bring claude into the microsoft copilot 365 ecosystem gosh that's a mouthful basically copilot within applications in the microsoft ecosystem things like powerpoint things like word uh, specifically microsoft have said that claude would be better at things like powerpoint so they're going to use anthropics models for powerpoints and then use chat gpt for other things for example inside word it's non-acrimonious it's nice to see both of these companies basically doing their own thing, realizing that they are have different futures and they're going in different directions, and that's fine. They're not fighting tooth and nail. It's not like Sam Altman and Elon Musk are going at each other, but instead two mature companies who are willing to build with each other and without each other. And I think this is a very healthy way for the industry to be compared to all of the hype on Twitter and anything to do with Elon Musk, basically. So I wish them both the best of luck. Uh, whatever happens, we're going to keep progressing.